Hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Soap Scope. We're going to meditate on the Word of God, invite and share. Invite and share, we're going to meditate. Hey, invite and share. Greetings to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're going to meditate on the Word of God. Hallelujah. Invite and share. You're going to really love this. We're going to allow the Word to be written on the table of our heart. Hallelujah. Come on. Invite and share. Yes, Friday. <laughs> you all are really going to love this, okay? Good afternoon. I'm loving the vibe too. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm just probably going to keep this playing while we meditate to the word, okay? Invite and share. We're doing Jeremiah 29, verse 11 today. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Hallelujah. Invite and share. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I wait about 30 more seconds. And then we can get it going. I'm really excited about this. Hallelujah. 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 Baton Rouge is in the building. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hey. And to the first timers, hello and welcome. Um, we're going to explain briefly what it is that we do on these scopes. All right. We turn this down some. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. So hello, everybody. Hey, chosen for this. How you doing? Greetings, everybody. Um, for those of you all that are just now, um, if this is your first time, I say greetings to you. God bless you. Um, welcome to the Soap Scopes. What we do is we meditate to the Word of God, but we do it to music. Um, we allow the Word to be written on the table of our heart. We come from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 8. I mean, I'm sorry, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And it says how then we will make our way prosperous and we will have good success. And we have to understand that the word, according to James 1 verse 21, is to be engrafted. Um, is to be engrafted in our hearts. Proverbs 7 as well as Proverbs 3 says it is to be written on the table of our heart. So how do we allow the word to be written on the table of our heart? We do one of the ways to do that is through meditation and meditating on the word in our way is different from Eastern Indian meditation. Eastern Indian meditation, you empty your mind out. But the problem with that is when you empty your mind out, you're opening your mind up for other things to come in that is not of God. Well, what the Lord does is that word meditate is a word Haggah from um, that's listed in Joshua 1 verse 8. And that word Haggah means to study. It means to uh, mutter. It means to imagine. And it also means to ponder. So when we're meditating on the word of God, what we are basically doing is we are pondering as we are thinking. We are pondering as we are um meditating on the word and so as we're muttering the word so what we do here is we mutter the word we begin to imagine all right we allow the weight of the word to sit on our hearts and we communicate to the author of the word all right and you're going to be blessed there's so many people that are having so many encounters with the lord through this all right Praise God. There you go. Right. She said, yes, there's a difference now when I read the word. Praise the Lord. So without further ado, let's go to Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And we're going to meditate on that scripture. Now, something else that we do, too, is we take pieces. Um, we don't always say the whole scripture. 
because the scripture is so rich. Every word is living. It's quick and powerful. So since every single word is a living organism, we want each one of those living organisms to connect with the table of our heart. Okay. So Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. All right. And so this is the scripture we are going to ponder right now. OK, we are going to ponder these scriptures and then we're going to open the line up for even the revelation um, for you all to release your revelations on the screen. OK, is everybody ready? All right. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I think we're going to you know what? Let's let's begin to meditate uh, on the first part. That says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Okay? Before we get to the expected end. All right? Let's go to that. And remember uh, what we've learned the last two days. When we boldly come before the throne, that means we're standing on that sea of crystal. Okay? That sea of transparency. We're looking at that one who looks like a jasper and a sardine stone. Emerald rainbow roundabout. All right, this is the atmosphere that we're in right now. And so as we begin to commune with him, even through his word, it's such a release that you're going to feel. Okay, are we ready? So we're going to say, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Okay, this is the Lord talking. And as we mutter these words, we're going to mutter them. We're speaking them to our soul. All right. We have the power to speak to our soul as well as speak to our spirit. We're speaking with the voice of the Lord. This is the same word that created the world. according to Hebrews 11 verse 3. OK, so let's begin the muttering aspect. Are we ready? I'm going to change the um, you know what I told you. I keep that vibe the same and then I'll switch it. OK, we'll keep this going right here. All right, let's go. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Remember, this is the Lord. That I is the Lord. Let's just begin to mutter that. Say that to yourself. You can say it slow. You might get stuck on the word. That's good. The Holy Spirit is highlighting that word to you. Okay, let's go. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Hmm. I know the thoughts that I think toward you. I know. Hmm. Just think about that I know part to you, everybody. That I know. I know. Mm. I know. Now, let's begin to switch this around. Make it even more personal. We're going to change the I to you. And we are now going to talk to the Lord. And we're going to say, you know the thoughts that you think toward me. Okay? Are we ready? Hey, better and better. God bless you. Okay, let's go. You know the thoughts that you think toward me. You know the thoughts that you think towards me. You know the thoughts that you think towards me. 
Mm. That word thoughts is really sitting with me right now. Just begin to ponder what are God's thoughts? What do you think God's thoughts are? Okay. Matter of fact, let's begin to release some revelation about those thoughts. I'm going to change the vibe up a little bit. Okay. Let's begin to release some revelation about what thoughts can be. Okay. Give me some more words for thoughts and we're going to say those. You know the purposes that you think towards me. Huh? You know what you ponder, what you think towards me. You know the feelings that you think towards me. You know the plans that you think towards me. Remember, we're talking to the Lord. Focus, center your mind on him right now. You know the will that you think towards me. You know the innermost desires that you think towards me. All right, count on the roof. You know the insight that you think towards me. You know the ideas huh, that you think towards me. Hmm. You know the love that you think towards me. You know the mission hmm, that you think towards me. Ah, these are good. You know the truths that you think towards me. You know the prosperity that you think towards me. Now, one of the things you are with meditation is you can look up the word because one of the words for meditation is study. So you can look up the word thoughts right now in your concordance, or you can look up the word thoughts even in an English dictionary. And whatever the definitions are, you can begin to release those. You know the revelation that you think towards me. You know the divine purpose that you think towards me. You know the songs that you think towards me. Yes, think about all the things that, that come in your thoughts. Huh. Yeah, you know the reflections that you think towards me. Think about that, you all. God actually reflects on us. Hmm. What is he reflecting about right now about you? Just ask the Lord. Let's begin to ponder. This is the pondering part. Let's begin to ponder and ask him. Lord, what are you reflecting about me right now? What are you reflecting on about me? Let's begin to ask him that. What are you reflecting on about me? Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's stay right there. Lord, what are you meditating on about me? What are you reflecting on? Okay, we're, we're not looking for, for the answers right now yet. We're just asking. I want us to begin to ask questions, okay? This allows us to become even more intimate with the Lord and open our ears up, and he's going to release those answers to us. Amen. Yeah, there it is. What are you thinking of me? What are you pondering about concerning me? Yeah, begin to release those revelations, you all. Okay? For the word thoughts. Lord, what are you purposing for me? Remember, we're re releasing revelation for thoughts, but we're asking questions. Lord, what are you pondering on for me? What is your opinion of me? Oh, that's good. Mm. What are you desiring for me? Now, I want us to take it even a step further because sometimes we don't really have, none of us really 
have the 100 percent of who we are we're still learning every day more and more because we're always coming into newness in our life so i want us to begin to put our name in it okay lord what are you thinking about me philip what are you purposing for me philip what are you reflecting on about me hmm. lord what are you reflecting on about philip hmm. put your name in there you don't have to put it on the screen if you don't want to it's fine as long as you're saying it what are you reflecting on about me Philip what is your next move for Philip mm, that's good what is your next move for Philip mm. Mm. Lord what are you imagining about me, Philip. Mm. Do you all know that this word thoughts also means imaginations? Lord, what are you imagining about me? to go from here I want us to go to uh, the expected end okay we're going to come back to the thoughts of peace but I want us to go to uh, the part of the scripture where it says to give you an expected end okay to give you an expected end so think about this Everything that the Lord is thinking that we talked about, thinking, desiring, planning, purposing, imagining, reflecting on, is all geared towards giving you and I this expected end. But this expected end is an end full of hope, okay? An end that is full of peace. We are fulfilling the prophetic destiny and the call that he has on our life. He wants us to walk in the fullness. That's right. Your expected end is mind-blowing. Mm. So I want you to say right now, the, the words say, give you an expected end. All right? We're going to mutter. But instead of you, we're going to say, give me. An expected end. Matter of fact, we're going to say, give me my expected end. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Let's begin to tell the Lord through his word. He responds to his word. Say, give me my expected end. Yeah. Give me my expected end. Give me my expected end give me my expected end and as we're pondering this open your ears to hear the Lord you, 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 you're going to start hearing something give me my expected end give me my expected end and mm, give me my expected end. Give me my expected end. My expected end. My expected end. 
perspective and mm, what does that word mean to you my expected end ponder on that what does expected mean mm, what does that word expected mean remember this is out of God's mouth Give me my expected end. What does the word expected mean? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Lord, give me my expected end. Give me the end that you desire for me. so many things going through my, my heart right now you all do you all know that this particular scripture was spoken in response to a false prophecy there was a false there were, the Lord spoke about false prophets just a couple of verses before and his word basically to counter this was he knows the thoughts that he has towards us he told us not to listen to the prophets and the diviners that were given these words. So right now, for every one of us that has ever had a word spoken in our life that did not line up with the will of God. Maybe somebody spoke a spoken word curse over your life. Um, maybe we spoke a word over our life that was not conducive to the will of God. Maybe somebody had prophesied to you and it wasn't the will of God for your life. Um, whatever it is, uh, a dream, whatever it is, all right, we're coming out of agreement with that right now. And we're saying, Lord, you give us our expected end. Mm. We align with your expected end. Yeah. Yeah. I take my hands off the wheel and I yield to your expected end. Let's release some, some revelation for end you are. Mm. Give me my expected outcome. Yeah. Give me my expected destiny. Give me my expected destination. Give me my expected purpose. Ah. Mm. Give me the dream that you have for me. I want to put that that you have for me at the end of that. Give me the plans that you have for me. Yeah, let's do that you all. I like that. I feel, I feel an anointing on that. Give me the imaginations that you have for me. Okay? We're going to have put all of these different things into expected in. But at the end of that, we're going to say that you have for me. Okay? All right? So give me the thoughts that you have for me. Mmm. Yeah. Give me the thoughts that you have for me. Give me the final word that you have for me. Give me the hope and future that you have for me. Yeah. Give me the plan that you have for me. Yeah. Give me the truth that you have for me. Share your thoughts that you have for me. Share your plans that you have for me. Mm. Yeah. Now, let's go a step further, you all. Let's go a step further. Everything that the Lord has for you prophecy, like the things that he speaks. 
are always bringing peace. Remember, David, even, even judgment, David says how he loves God's judgments. Mm. So let's begin to think on God's thoughts. His thoughts are thoughts of peace. They bring peace to us. So let's begin to reflect on thoughts of peace because remember, God's expected end that he has for every single one of us is a peaceful end for us. It's going to bring peace to the overall will of God. Peace. We, we don't have to be anxious. We can relax. Because it's going to be so great. Hey, Free Nicholson, we're on Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Hmm. I want us to begin to meditate on thoughts of peace. We're just going to say that, all right? These living words, let them begin to speak to you, all right? Meditate on thoughts of peace. Remember, I expected in our future, our thoughts of peace. 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 Really begin to cling to this word. If you're not getting anything from it, I mean, begin to get desperate with the words. Sometimes when you're meditating, you have to cling to that word. You have to say that thing until you, everything inside of you believes that thing in the fullness. Allow yourself to feel the weight of the word. Don't quit if you're not getting anything from it. He's breaking down the wall right now. Thoughts of peace. Some of you all are going to start feeling a breaking. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. Thoughts of peace. going to wrap that up what I want you to do remember meditation isn't just for this particular scope the Lord wants us to do it day and night it's something that we can always be meditating on we can always meditate on scripture all throughout the day all right and so if you want to even go further with this you can Lord what are your thoughts of peace towards me Many of us are going to start knowing our purpose, even just what he wants us to do. Hey, from Jonesboro, Arkansas, all right? Yeah, a lot of us, you're about to start seeing your lives um, link up, like, and then start connecting with the people and the, the opportunities that you want them to connect with. 
you know, because this word is being spoken into the atmosphere. You are creating your world around you simply through the meditation of what it is that you're doing. And you're being transformed within the core of your heart. So now your heart is beginning to align with this thing because we are comforted on every side because the Lord says, I know the plans that I have for you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And the Lord is saying even now, wow, I wasn't planning this, but I start hearing this now. And so I just want to just release this prophetic word to everybody that is on here right now corporately. And I hear the Lord saying that even as you think on my expected end, this is truly a time of positioning and direction for each and every single one of you. For my thoughts are truly to bring you peace. I imagine it. I reflect on it. I ponder it each and every single day. He says, and don't you know that I jealously yearn to spend time with you, my people, and I am constantly thinking on ways in which to bring you blessings, for I am your God, I am your Father, that daily loads you with benefits, says the Lord. So even as you ponder on that expected end, trust me, trust me, for blessed are they that put their trust in me, says the Lord. He says, and I am one that are going to bring you into great abundance. I am one that I'm going to make you liberal. I am one that are, I am making you highly favored, even amongst the nations. For there is a reverence that I am putting on your name because you have put reverence on my name, because you fear me, because you respect me. The Lord says it is truly an honor to spend time with you. And so even as you come and you honor me, there is an honor that I am putting on your name. So when you go before great people and you go before nations, just as I did with Israel, so I will do with you. There will be a fear that I will put on your name or respect and awe when you come into other people's presence because they are going to smell my glory on you. They're going to feel my glory on you. They're going to say there's something about you. You're special. And the Lord is saying, my, my, my daughters and my sons, be not puffed up in your own pride, for it is not your doing, for it is my doing, says the Lord. And it is marvelous in my eyes. So continue to trust in me. And those of you that are discouraged, says the Lord, and are even doubting, I come to give you your expected end. I know the plans that I have towards you, and I am positioning you in every area of your life, says the Lord. He says, so be not discouraged, be not dismayed, cast your cares upon me, for I care for you, and I am truly working out every situation. He says, live life, live life, says the Lord. Cast off the different things that have held you down in living your day out, says the Lord. For you know that my eyes are in every place. And he says, even when you are just spending time in a secret place, everything is moving around you. Even when you feel like because you have not gotten a manifestation of something that I have spoken to you, Things are still moving around you, says the Lord. He says, for I come to bring the light in the areas where you have been darkened in. For time is in my hands. I exist in eternity. And I am truly moving everything in every region and sphere of society in order to line up with what heaven is declaring about you. For heaven declares you. You are my righteousness, says the Spirit of the living God. So, Father, I thank you for that word that was released. I thank you that we are in the right place. We are at the, in the right time. I thank you, Lord, that you know the thoughts that you have towards us. Lord, I thank you for your agenda, for your agenda is so beautiful. Your agenda is so awesome. I thank you that we are a people of greatness, that you are making us great. I thank you that we are a royal priesthood. Hmm. And you are allowing our light to shine in the darkness. 
And I pray that every single day there will be more light that we will walk in. Let prophetic words be released to shine light on every single dark area, dark border, and dark place in our life. We love you and we bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. You all remember the scripture in Psalms 119, 119. I don't remember the actual verse, but it says the entrance of his word gives light. So when his word enters in, as we're meditating on it, it brings light. Okay? So expect now for everything as you begin to step off of even this scope. Trust that everything that is aligning all has to do with your expected end. There are angels being released to hearken to these words in order to perform it and bring it to pass. And keep meditating on this. If you want to keep on meditating on it, I promise you, you're going to get more. Let it just go through your mind through the day. Say it, mutter it, imagine it, ponder it, study it. I promise you, you're going to get so much more than just this little quick little scope that we did. All right. So God bless you all. There's one person on here. I'm, com I'm coming back on at six. You know, the only way I, I will not be on is if Apostle Eckhart, you know, I don't like to be on when he's on. He's the reason that us from Crusaders are even on this periscope in the first place. So we want to honor our pastor. So I plan on coming on at six o'clock central time. However, if he scopes, no, I'm not related to Isaac, but I love Isaac. He's a great man of God. So, uh, follow Isaac Watson. Follow him. Great man of God. Um, but I'm telling you, um, I'm going to come on at 6 Central Time. If I don't come on, it's only because Apostle Eckhart, um, Apostle Eckhart is on ministering or like, you know, Prophetess Michelle or Kathy, or, you know, one of the leaders at our church. And I'll just come on later, okay? Um, there's somebody I saw in the email. Uh, there are actually uh, four or five of you that I said I prophesied to that I'm going to do this evening at 6. But there was one person I said I was going to prophesy to right now on the issue of direction. And that's Teresa Taylor. And that's something we're going to meditate on later to you all is direction. So if you're looking for some direction, even though this word right here has to do with direction, we're actually going to go even greater into that realm of direction because we're going to meditate on John 16, verse 13. You all are really going to love that, like for real. But, um, Teresa Taylor, I want to release this prophetic word to you. Thankful TT, are you there? Are you there, thankful TT? What's up, better and better? Okay, thankful TT. Praise God. And your name is um, um, Teresa, right? Teresa Taylor. So, Father, I thank you for Teresa Taylor. Lord, I thank you that you have made her the head and not the tail that she is above and not beneath. And Lord, I thank you for the beautiful things that you are doing for your daughter. And I ask, Lord God, what are your thoughts right now that you have for her? What are these thoughts? We ask that you will begin to open up the, the prophetic lens for the thoughts. Now, this is what I want you all to do. You know, just in the spirit of even what our pastor um, has been doing across the nation and the world of prophetic activations. Um, I want us to be activated in the prophetic as well. So what we do when we release these prophetic words, when I, I start speaking it, whatever God is telling you, I want you to put that. Um, I want you to. I want you to put that word on the screen, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna believe that God is saying that about that person, and I'm going to speak that word. I'm going to speak that word to the screen. Okay, I'm going to speak that prophetic word to the screen. All right, and we're going to believe that that's part of their prophetic word. And so the scripture I got for you is, uh, which one can I do, Holy Spirit? Which, which verse, Holy Ghost? All right, I got Psalms 103, verse 1 for you. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And the Lord is saying, daughter, this is truly a time 
for your mind to be blessed in a way that it has never been blessed before. He says, for there have been things that you have associated um, as being yourself that were actually things that were associated with the flesh because of certain things that you have encountered in your life. But the Lord is saying, this is a time and a season where I am breaking you out of the old mindset. I am breaking you out of the things that it is that you used to do, says the Lord. He says, and daughter, this is a time where I am calling for you to be free, to walk in liberation. He says, so even as you begin to speak words, I hear the word decree. The Lord really wants you to start making decrees. There have been a lot of um, word curses that have been spoken over your life. And the Lord is saying, daughter, begin now to heal from those. Begin to make decrees. Begin to prophesy to yourself. Begin to speak to yourself, says the Lord. And as you begin to speak to yourself, uh, speak my word. Find scriptures in my word and begin to speak them to you, says the Lord. And as you begin to uh, speak those things, not only as the atmosphere around you going to change, he says, but even the words come out of you are going to change. But don't don't you know that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking, but also so comes the issues of life. He says, and as you're speaking these words, I'm going to cause you to attract like a magnet others that are aligned with your expected end, others that are aligned with these thoughts that I'm thinking towards you. For as you speak my words, you are speaking my thoughts, says the Lord. And I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So yes, this is a shifting that is going on. Yeah, those words on the screen, and then we're about to wrap it up because I see my pastor is on. There is a shifting that is going on. And we are even, ele and I am elevating you even because of your obedience as you stand on my word. Increase is yours in this portion, daughter. Speak my word and you will see increase. Speak my word and you will see shifting. Speak my word and you will see direction. Prophesy to yourself, says the Lord. Prophesy to your situations. Allow my word right now to frame your reality and your world for daughter this is a season of grace and favor in your life like never before says the spirit of the living god so father we thank you and we declare and decree that no weapon formed against her shall prosper she is on purpose she is on destiny and she is on time so we bless her lord in Jesus' name we pray amen god bless you all i'm about to go i see apostle eckhart just uh posted all right <laughs> so i just spoke it up God bless you all. Bye-bye.